Well, Danny, not the way I wanted to start the National League season. What's your take on the game today? Um, I actually thought the lads would take a lot of pride out of the majority of the game, to be honest. I thought that for large periods we looked as good, if not better, than them in spells. And the disappointing thing for me is, is we always seem to have the effect of an official's decision. And the lad, for me, dived and then actually says to Kins that he, he dived and bought the penalty. And, Look, I know it's hard for them to see referees and stuff, but that, for me that was the turning point of the game. And Mitch was unfortunate with the save, but yeah, look, there's a lot of positives to take out today for us. Some of the young lads did fantastically well, and the, the lads that made their debuts did very well. And look, are we happy with the, losing the game? Of course not. We, we believe that we can win every match, but we have to take the positives out of that one because. As I said, I thought for the majority of the game we gave a really good account of ourselves. Let's talk about the starting lineup decision. Obviously, young Tommy was given the chance to start. First of all, the thinking behind that. We look. We've we've got a very hard working group, and we want players to be on the pitch for merit. There's no there's no such thing as a as a nailed on starter. We we haven't got that. If you show you you're working hard, if you get your head down, do the right things, you're going to get an opportunity. And that's what he's done. And he's got himself an opportunity. And I thought he was outstanding today. And for me. He's, he's a very, very bright prospect. You spoke about that obviously when you first joined the club and you've continued that, you know, bringing you through, that's what you've got a background in and seeing people like that in the academy here as well. It must be a proud moment for them to continue bringing these through. Yeah, look, look, the academy do great work and they've obviously provided us with some very good players since I've been at the club and that's that's what you want. You want your academy to be doing that. And for our, our from our perspective, it's kind of a catch-22 because there's a part of us, we haven't really got a choice. Um, we need the young players to come through and, and develop because we, we need our resources for, for main targets and players and so the squad players need to be made up by the, by the academy lads but we also like to develop and make people better and I think that we've, we've done that very well and, and the proof is in the pudding. I thought Jaden Harris I thought was outstanding today, I thought Tom was excellent today. Um, Ellis Watts makes his debut today. Unfortunately for him, it's not how we wanted him to make his debut. We're coming on and having to, to deal with the situation, but he's on the pitch. And from our perspective, we'll keep doing that. We'll keep developing players, and and hopefully we'll get, we'll reap the fruits of that. Because obviously the first half, it's nil nil at half time. To be fair to say, it was quite an even affair. There's a few hard chances for both sides, but we well well the match to a tough side like Chesterfield. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I think we did it up, right up until the penalty, to be honest. And. It was a bit of a bit of misunderstanding, a bit of confusion. I think there was a little bit of a misclearance, and like you said, like it is hard for the officials. I do get it. If someone simulates something in the in the, in the penalty area, you, you have got a split decision to make. Unfortunately, from from our perspective, you got it wrong. Obviously, the second half starts again. We're still in the game. Look, if we have a few half chances, young Tommy after changing the run and things like that, and like you said, it's a bit of a sucker punch penalty because we've done so well up until that point, and another quick fire goal from Shamanga for them. Yeah, and I think the Shamanga one. I think we'll, when we look back, we'll be disappointed. I think we could have handled that a lot better. But we, I, I tried to, I, as I, I've already said, I tried to get the ear of some of the players just to calm things down a little bit because. It, you could see the emotions were taking over and, and the, and the helter scale of the game was, was causing us problems and actually someone just put a foot on the ball, make a pass or just get us up the pitch a little bit and have a spell in their, in their half, even if that is turning around. Um, but by the time we started to do that, unfortunately, we were turning down and you're always going to find it tough against a team like that. Something that was quite prominent and positive from today was obviously the fans being back in, over 2,000 of them here yeah. today. It really did influence and impact the game as a whole. Yeah, that, that, I've, I've made no no secret about it. We've we've been desperate for them to be back. We we need them. We, we we're definitely going to need them this year. We need them to be our 12th man, as I said in the program notes. Uh, and I'm I'm hoping that they saw some some foundations there of of, of, a, of a very good side, and and we can take that forwards. But as I said, we need we need them to get behind us. Was there a few substitutions that happened with the likes of George coming off half time, Toby towards the end? I don't know if the George one was an injury, but how are they doing? Yeah, George got a knock. I'm not sure. What, what kind of what the situation was that is yet? Yeah, I need to see the physio. He's been assessed now, and um, Tom, uh, Toby was just cramped. Obviously, he, he put in a fantastic shift, and like them, like all the players today, I thought he gave a really good count of himself. So that was just managing him because I think if we left him on for any longer, you then put him at risk of injury. Of course, it was a difficult game today, but we looked to bounce back with an away trip to Bournemouth on Saturday. Yeah, again, another tough challenge for us, and uh, I, I think we need to let today soak in. We need to look at today's game. 
um, do some do some work on them and have a look at how they've set up today. And and yeah, look, we go as as I've said to the boys in the dressing room, we're going to every game expecting to win it. That's what we want to do. We want to go and win every game. And we showed that today. We didn't sit back and just have tried to defend for 90 minutes. We went toe to toe with them, and we'll do that to every team this season. Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe. Oh.